I'd like to introduce you to the suitcase pump organ. A suitcase? Well, what does that really mean? And what is a pump organ? Do you have to plug it in? Well, let's find out. In 1840, uh, approximately, uh, the pump organ was invented, and what it does is uh, wind or air is pushed through a thin piece of metal called a reed, and it vibrates, and we get a sound. Now, th those reeds are uh, different sizes, and so we can get different notes of the scale. So let's take a little closer look at this pump organ and who would use this? Well, in the past it's been used in military, uh, military chaplains or uh, preachers that travel, uh, traveled around um, to various churches and they would take their um, pump organ with them to play for the hymns and songs in the church. And uh, so this pump organ, we it has bellows and the bellows is hidden underneath this uh, wooden facade and when I pump you'll see that that facade moves a little bit and it does have a release valve if you put too much air in there it does uh, leak out so but the idea is is that when you're filling that uh, chamber with air uh, it has to go someplace and so that's when we push down a key and there is no sound from this key unless we put some air through the reed by pumping down here. Just like that. Not too bad. So, it sounds maybe to some like an accordion, and uh, to others, well, like something, I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, let's check it out. There's a couple of additional uh, bits here that we can uh, change our sound uh, to make it louder and to add extra notes, as in an octave. So let's see what we can do with this. First of all, without touching any of these with our knees, and we just begin. Of course, the more notes that you play, it requires more air running through, so you sometimes have to pump faster. It's a great workout. It's kind of like pumping for maybe two or five kilometers. So let's see what these little uh, adjustments do to the sound. First of all, with my right knee. So it opens up and makes it louder. So you can crescendo and decrescendo. Let's see what the left one does. So it does add another uh, series of reeds um, to make it louder. So let's demonstrate a little bit more. I stop pumping, the sound ceases to exist. So that is the pump organ, the reed organ, the suitcase pump organ. Lots of different names. Harmonium and melodeon are uh, relatives, so I would encourage you to find out a little bit more information about the pump organ and its history, how it was used, and the many variations. Thanks for watching. And thanks for listening.